Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for another MacBay video and today I'm doing a video or type of video that I haven't done in quite a while and basically you know it's a show and tell of some of the items and materials that I stumble in some of my trips to the store and for the most part some of these items i'm pretty sure you guys already know about especially those uh the ones that already been doing dyes for quite a while now pretty sure that you guys been doing your own hunting and discoveries in terms of like what type of materials and diorama ideas to use for your uh dios but for beginning or beginners uh dio maker or for those people who, does, who doesn't have that much time going out and actually uh, going through the stores and spending time, you know, strolling the stores, you know, to look for those kind of stuff, then this is a good video for you uh, so that you'll be able to know what material it is and hopefully you can find some of these at your local uh, areas. And so let's you know let's go start and just go one by one um in terms of like where i found you know where i found this and uh what it is so to start with i found this item at daiso and this is actually a pen so the reason why i picked this up is that i think this is perfect for uh, oriental team type dioramas uh, or you know uh, temple or dojo I think this will be good and I think it's pretty much readily uh, you I mean you could use this readily I mean you don't have to do anything with this I think I mean it's the, the, the finish and the paints are pretty you know good and you know for me if I'm gonna use this in a dial this is basically gonna be like a freestanding type pole or you know decorative pole uh or something so yeah definitely you know this is something that uh i could use for my dio so again this one is a uh, daiso uh it's actually a pen which is pretty cool if you want to use it as a pen also yeah i think this one costs about a uh, dollar fifty so each so that's not bad for uh, a decorative item for your dio so next one is a little bit more of something that you could buy at I actually got this at Hobby Lobby. Let me see if we could focus on this. And this one is actually if you could you could, you, you, you could see the the name is wood pile. So this one is actually used for uh like woodwork stuff. So like if you you know uh, if you're doing some like wooden chest and stuff or frames, then this is what you use. For me. The reason why I picked this up is that I think this one is going to be really good for uh, finishing touch for a uh, rooftop diorama, like the corners of the um, you know where the the uh, if you're doing you know for us we're doing foam insulation foam then this is pretty cool to use at the corners where those uh, foam meets and just have a more finished look to it. Now you could, you know, repaint this, and you know to match the uh, the color of your uh, rooftop dial. So if you're gonna do like, um, let's say, a masonry um, finishing on the top of your roof, then you could, you know, paint paint this kind of like similar to that, so that you'll you'll have kind of like a. Uh, you know same look or you could actually leave it the way it is and make it more of like a metal uh, edging and have a little bit more of a, a highlight or you know interest point in, in your rooftop and this one comes in four so depending on how many corners you're doing you know mostly a lot of the times you're probably gonna be doing just one side of your rooftop so you're only gonna use two so yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. And then the other one that I picked up is this 
uh, again from wood pile and I got this from Hobby Lobby and it's pretty, rel relatively cheap it's for a dollar ninety nine and this one is a uh, barrel uh, so this is this one is basically ready to use guys so all you have to do in here is just paint this and add this to your diorama as uh, accessories you know it will be good for like a barn scenario uh, abandoned warehouse type thing and um, you know anything that you can think of basically and I actually uh, used this already in one of the dios that I made for a 1 6 scale uh, cap um, no um, the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, team dio that I created uh, pretty recently and I used this as kind of like uh, mini uh, uh, barrel but for a 112 scale this is per uh, I think this one is perfect for like legend scale if you want to do that as a almost like a full size um, barrel all right so yeah pretty good uh, uh, you know materials to use or accessories and the next one I'd like to share with you guys is this one right here it's a petite block uh, again this one is from Daiso it costs about $1.50 and the reason why I picked this up is you know, a lot of times I need little uh, buttons or or um, uh, you know little things you know that you could use for like a control panel. So the Lego ones um, you can use, but a lot of them are kind of like big uh, in terms of scale. Uh, it doesn't really fit the scale of uh, one twelve. So this one is actually. I think it will be perfect for that kind of purpose because it's uh, smaller than the, the Lego brick uh, pieces. So yeah, I'm planning to use this for like, you know, like TV uh, control or console, computer console, um, <clears throat> you know, buttons and stuff, on up buttons. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using this for. Next one is, I'm pretty sure some of you guys already been using this, and uh, this one I got from Home Depot, and this are basically uh, conduits um, <clears throat> items, you know, electrical conduits or some are like for irrigation stuff, and this one is good to use as like piping or um ventilation um you know pipes for for uh like a rooftop or even in um like a sewer so and again this one is basically ready to use all you have to do in here is just repaint this and you know make it look uh you know weather it to make it look old and stuff and basically you know you you're good to go with this guys so again you, know, you just have to go to the irrigation or electrical piping section at uh, home depot and there's actually different sizes of these also this one is the smaller ones um <clears throat> which i'm planning to use this on my rooftop uh diorama all right so let's move on to the next one uh, i'm just gonna go get a bunch of these right here so here I have a bunch of uh, this is one is actually fridge magnets. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, and my idea here is that this will be perfect uh, signage and decals for garage type diodes, even uh, warehouse type diodes. Um, <clears throat> again, this one is ready to use. I mean, you just have to put it on the wall as decorative, um, you know, accessories and, you know, to really bring up some of those garage dials if you have, you know, if you're making that. I mean, they really add a lot of um, uh, quality to the look of it. I mean, 
I mean, you know, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. You know, a lot of these, I mean, the, the old um, <clears throat> style garages, and I, actually, even now, some of the garages still have some some signage and stuff that um, they have in, in 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 there. Basically, you know, promoting some of the uh, products that they use or products that they repair. So, uh, you know, this one is, I think, I mean, really great for that purpose. So. Um, this one costs about three dollars a piece, but uh, Hobby Lobby usually have like a fifty percent off sale on this kind of I mean this type of items. So I was able to just get this for like a dollar fifty each, and for me it's a you know dual purpose. I mean I could use this as a fridge magnet, you know, in my fridge, and if I need you know, for my photography uh, stuff, you know, dial and stuff, I could use it as, you know, accessories as well. So just an idea, you know, um, <clears throat> if you guys uh, need some decals and stuff, instead of printing them, you know, or, or yeah, printing them and making them yourself. This one is something that's readily available for like a dollar fifty each, not bad. So next is, this flexible mini straws um, as you know uh, for those people who followed me I use uh, straws in in my dials for my piping and conduits and stuff even um, railing materials I use these but what I like about this one is this one is uh, have smaller diameters than the standard ones that you usually get at the other stores so I think it's just good um, options to have when you're doing dials to have different size of uh, uh, piping materials. So for me, uh, that's the reason why I picked this up. And for a dollar fifty, this is not bad. Comes a uh, hundred pieces. Again, this one is in Daiso. So yeah, you know, pretty cool. Um, good source of uh, piping material if you're gonna uh, need some. And another one that I found at Daiso is this pretty cool, um, it's actually more of a tool than an accessories. This one is a tool for uh, dial making, uh, perfectly for, I mean, yeah, it's going to be good for dial making. And this one is basically a compass cutter knife. So if you're doing um, circular shape in, in, uh, in the foam, this is a you know pretty good tool to use because it already comes with um, the ruler, and you could basically just you know pick uh, the size uh, diameter you want, and then as you can see from that um, drawing there, you know you could just kind of see how to use that. And this one comes with blade already. Now the only thing that I don't know is if. Um, you can use the normal X-Acto knife um, as a replacement for the uh, the blade. The blade looks a little bit different than, than the standard uh, X-Acto knife blades. But, uh, you know, maybe once I open this, then I'll be able to find out more about it. But in the meantime, these are really nice accessories, oh, I mean tools. For die making for a dollar fifty, not bad. Next one I'm gonna show you guys. This one is again at Daiso, and this one is actually a sushi maker. And unlike the normal ones that they have there, where this is kind of like folded, so it's kind of hard to straighten up. Uh, but the standard ones that they have there normally is the like the bam that the real bamboo ones now this one is plastic and what I like about this one is that the back of this is like flat so if you're gonna use this as flooring for like a dojo or oriental uh, team building uh, this one is really nice to just glue on because it's flat compared to the the real uh, bamboo sushi uh, maker or mat where it's kind of like rounded all the way around so it's 
so you, you know you don't get that uh, nice um, you know attachment at the back when you gonna use it and also you could use this for uh, wall panels I think you know just need some support and what's good about this is that if you so you can see it has uh, wider um, cracks than the normal uh, bamboo mats so you could actually play around uh, with lighting or different colored backgrounds and be able to have some light you know pass through so I think this one is a really good uh, alternative and for a dollar fifty again this one is uh, a, a relatively cheap way of using as your flooring and the next one I'm gonna share with you guys is this one again I got this from Daiso and uh, the actual uh, use for this material is actually a divider for containers so if you could kind of see in the picture you know you could actually cut this in different uh, length and make it into like dividers for your um, plastic containers or whatnot and for me you know when I first uh, saw this actually there's some, one, some, one similar that you can find at Ikea but the only difference is the one in Ikea you know each one of these kind of like planks uh, the one in Ikea the, the edge the edge of that actually has like a raised um, edge so it's not flat it's not flush not like this one where it's flush and so this one is at, I think it will be perfect for like um, bridges you know or even flooring for uh, what do you call it? Uh, escape um, fire escape you know a patio and stuff I think this will be good or even as um, a race walkway for like uh, oriental team diorama and stuff so I mean you could even use use this for I think if you just cut this like individually the planks you could probably use this as a um, crate planks so yeah I think there's a lot of uses uses for this one and again for like a dollar fifty I mean you're gonna get a lot of uses for for this all right and lastly something that I'm really excited um, <clears throat> when I first saw this at Daiso yeah this one is actually if you look at the picture it's actually a container it's a foldable uh, plastic container but if you look closely look at the different um, patterns of this container even at the back and for me the first time I saw this all I'm thinking about is wall panels and I mean if you look like that I mean look how cool is that look at the the pattern of the sides I mean you could basically use it as is like that on a diorama you know maybe just repaint this to make it look a little bit more realistic but you know this is how you actually put it together so it's actually kind of like that when you make it into a container <laughs> but again I'm looking more on the the patterns of this and you could actually also take this apart and use parts of it you know uh, as it is like for example like this part right here I mean I could see this being used as railings you know for for like a space type team I mean look at that even the flooring I mean you could make this into like a, a floor flooring for like space or even like even like uh, panels you know back panels and you know it, it has um, 
you know, this pattern where you could still have like light passing through. So you could play around with this for like photography with the lighting and stuff and have really cool uh, uses for this, I think. So yeah, I think this one is like an instant uh, hanger, wall, panel stuff for $3. <laughs> I think this is not bad at all. So, yep, this is my favorite out of my finds um, uh, when I went to Daiso. So I'm just excited to share this to you guys. And hopefully you'll be able to find some of these at your local areas. And if not, I don't know if Daiso has an online thing where you could maybe buy it there. But um, yeah, you could probably check that out. All right, so for now, that's all I have, and thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.